button by and watching the video. I'd like to inform all my sensitive or underage viewers that this video will contain explicit content, which may include sexual scenery and the use of vulgar language. You have been warned. If you choose to continue any consequences that may come as a result, you'll be responsible for it. So enjoy the video. What's up YouTube, it's Programmer Fob here and welcome back to another video here on my channel. And in today's GTA 5 online video, we will be talking about all the nightclub locations and more that will be coming in the Nightlife DLC. So, let's get started. Let's start off with Bahama Mamas, which is a tropical themed nightclub. It has a dance floor, some booths, and some bar areas. And like every nightclub, it has a DJ booth for some sick beats. If you want to know how to get inside Bahama Mamas, go check out my last video. Next we have the vault, which I would say is themed at their bank. The vault has a very vintage look for it. For how it looks and the name and the reason why I put in today's video is because if you watch the footage you can see a bouncer and a crowd outside of the building. While music can be heard coming from the inside. I've never seen a bank having bouncers outside to decide who gets in or out of the building. Next we got Cockatoos. This place is a nightclub for male dancers, shemales, and trannies. It's the only nightclub building in the game for faggots. So this is pretty much all I know about the building and I don't want to know anymore so let's just move on. Next up we have Oat. The definition for the word is fashionably elegant or high class. So if the name matches the definition, this place should be an extremely formal type of nightclub. I doubt it, but we may be seeing a masquerade type of place where everyone wears a stylish old mask and uniform seen before the 19th century. But this is not confirmed, it's just speculation. Last but not least, we have a place called the Dungeon. This looks like to be a heavy metal style club with all the people outside. I would say this would be a popular club. But the video doesn't end here. Now I'm going to be talking about the places that might be nightclubs. Let's start off with the Key La La. If you want to know how to get in this building, go check out my last video. By the looks of it, it seems to have a punk rock anarchist kind of theme to it. So if this would be a nightclub, I would say that's what the theme would be. The last one on my list is the Lust Resort. Looks like another tropical themed nightclub. The difference between this and the Bahama Mamas is this one is more sexualized. Next, we have some places that might be added in the DLC. So let's start off with the strip club, the Hen House. It's actually a purchasable establishment in story mode for Franklin. And if you look at the zero in the house, there are three X's going vertically down it. Usually a triple X refers to a pornographic or sexual scenery. And if this does get put in the game, you might get the option to fuck a stripper like in story mode. The last strip club we have here today is Hornbills. And when driving past, I saw a bouncer and people standing outside. And you might be wondering why I think strip clubs might be coming in this DLC. It's because GTA San Andreas had a DLC just like this, and they added strip clubs. I'm now going to put on the screen strip clubs that were able to be accessed in GTA San Andreas. There are four in total. The Big Spread Ranch, Top Heavy Girls Daily, New Strippers Daily, and The Big Pen. So, knowing GTA San Andreas had a DLC just like this, and on how they added strip clubs in that DLC, that has me to believe that they are going to add more strip clubs in GTA 5 this upcoming DLC. Last but not least, I think they will be adding comic clubs to GTA 5 online, and one in specific, the Full Moon Film Theaters, because when driving by, just like the other buildings I listed before, I saw a bouncer and three people standing outside. Now, this is just what I think. Now, let me know in the comment section below if you think they'll be adding comedy clubs into this DLC. This is where we're going to end the video. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Subscribe to my friend's channel. The links will be down in the description like always. And let me know any of your theories down in the comment section below. If, if you have any other nightclub locations that I didn't list here or any other locations that you think might be in that DLC, leave it down in the comment section below. And until next time, I'll see you guys later, and peace out.